What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle coming to you with another YouTube video. And so here we are, international now, worldwide syndicated. This is where it's at. You know what? I could be polarizing. I can be thought provoking. I could be everything that you think is so negative in this space. But what I bring is reality. All right. And something that nobody else really does in the space, uh, maybe there's a few, but there's not a whole lot. It's all just smoke and mirrors that these guys bring to you. And I bring the reality of it all into light. That's why I'm the outlaw in this space. That's why I'm polarizing. And that's why I'm here. To bring to you a Novatech S Death Watch update. Right? We'll take a look into Fusion Experience once again, because it's still not all that cracked up to be. And uh, we'll see what else is in store. So let's take a look here. So Novatech, all right, I've been on, I've been on harping about this, about how it's not going to last another year. And so far, it's looking like that, right? Because... People can say what they want to say, all right? Oh, it's, uh, the market's down right now. Oh, man, because it's, it's, it's the Christmas, New Year's season right now. I don't give a shit. Reality of it all is that, like this guy Ty says, Nova is already going down. Because payouts are taking longer. And this is stuff I'm not even making up. I mean, this is stuff that is talked about in communities and everything and that trading account stuff all right when it comes to withdrawing stuff from the trading account as they say if you want to withdraw that takes like 14 quote unquote business days right but it's taking longer than that way longer because for shit who knows why maybe this is dragging things out but this eerily reminds me of the days of mine capital right when i did the same exact thing i was like man my capital is a bunch of shit and they were doing the same exact thing you want to pull your trading funds out right you want to pull that out yeah it, they said the same exact thing it's going to take 14 business days and it took even longer and then next thing you know they were saying like it takes six weeks to pull out your uh thing i'm just like what and this is at mine capital at the time and so i was just like wow you know like good luck getting that shit back and then next thing you know that shit went away here at Novatech, it's funny how things are right because you know uh they're, they're, they're starting to slow down on payouts right they've had issues with certain cryptos and see 14 business days but it's taking longer Right, so, and there's people that's been waiting since November 30th, right, so this is stuff that people are talking about, I'm not, make, I don't have to make shit up, I don't need to, that's the reality of it all, and that's what I bring every time I talk about these things, you know, but people just, you know, want to have faith, they, they, they have hopes and prayers, and then, oh, yeah, everything's going to be fine and all that. And I'm like, really? Are you sure about that? So, you know, as the Petians wish you a happy holidays and all that, you just hope that your money will come out. And maybe, you know, that one will and that other guy will. But then when yours, you know, decides that you decide you want to come and get yours, but it's already too late for that. I'll be like, all right, well, I've already said it many, many times. Sorry about your damn luck. But yeah, that's what's happening here. And, um, you know, this goes on and on. Right? I know that they have all this stuff about fraud warning. I don't give a, I don't care about fraud warnings. But when things start stacking up, right, the cease and desist, the fraud warnings, all that stuff, there, it, it comes to the point where, you know what, they're going to start doing something. 
and it's only a matter of time that it's happening. So, you know, look, look at the profits for the past couple of weeks, right? Probably about what last three or four weeks now, it's been under 3% when it's averaging. And you could go look at the numbers, right? 2021, it was averaging well, like 3.2% across the board for the year. And this year, um, I think it's a tad under like 2.9 this year. If you look at across the board overall numbers for uh, Novatech. And so, again, the numbers are out there. If you just, you know, quote, unquote, research it, you see that this is what's going on here. So, usually, when it comes to these sort of platforms in general, they don't tend to go up. They tend to gradually go down as time goes on. You can look at cash effects, right, as they are now into year three, right, of completion, right? They started in 2019. And if you look at the numbers of cash effects, high, high numbers first year, 2019, 2020, going into 2020, right? That full year, high numbers, right? 2021, lower. 2022, way lower. So that's what's happening. That's usually the trend. And so you guys got to wake up because sooner or later, as more of these sort of cease and desist comes out and uh, continuous stuff that keeps happening. And I know that you're going to say, oh, well, funds did the same thing. Well, funds only has one so far. So I'm just saying, that's the difference. And if funds start stacking up, well, shit, you better start worrying to pull that out too. But when that, until that time comes, I mean, all you got to say is, uh, hey, Right now, this is where it's at. Novatech, you better start taking it out. So this past week, 1.25% for this past week. And I know you're going to say, oh, well, it's the holidays, blah, blah, blah. You know, oh, it's better than a bank. <laughs> I know, it's funny when people always bring that argument. It's better than a bank, right? Well, the bank still has your money, whereas here, you'd be lucky if uh, they would still have your money, if you decide to pull it out, better not wait till it's too late. So just saying. And um, yeah, so here's the number, right? 3.14% was the number that was the percentage earned in 2021, all right? And then 2022, it was said the numbers are down to like 2.9 or so. So again, again, you just have to do your research. Very easy. So death watch continues as, oh, and they close your account if you don't keep any funds in it. I mean, that's not a new thing, but that's just something that if you don't keep like $100 in it to keep it kind of actively open, if they're just going to automatically close your account. So you got to watch out for that one. And, um, uh, <laughs> I'm still waiting for the next, I'm riveted, I'm still waiting for the next douchebag on autopilot episode about how he's on a journey to make a thousand dollars a day, but he's talking about how, uh, let's go to here real quick, manifest, which really doesn't pay jack shit, but it takes a whole lot of your fees, all right, uh, and then cash of X, Nil. <laughs> Yield nodes, they're gone. <laughs> Nil. <laughs> and then, what else is left? That's all you got? <laughs> Douchebag on autopilot, paying all this extra stuff for Manifest, and you're still getting, you, you're not getting shit from it. So, just saying, oh, that's, that's, this is just a little side note on that one. All right, that dummy on autopilot. Um, <laughs> talking about that. It's, it's a joke. So, let's go to, uh, oh yeah, by the way. Oh shit, Hex is pumping 3%, but still under 2 cents. Alright, so here is uh, Fusion, alright. They said they're on, they're embarking to launch what they call Fusion Experience 2.0, alright. Because now they feel like they've gotten all the issues put behind them. You know, they had to have people redo their verification, re-verification. Um, because they wanted to fix everything once and for all. 
And so you got to re-verify to get back in and make sure you're good and working. So that's another dollar you give up. So let's just say a million people join. That's a million dollars, right? That you just gave them. But uh, let's just say a, a, a nice arbitrary number. Let's just say 5,000 people have joined. That's $5,000 that's given to the house. Um, just to say, hey, here's a dollar fee for that bot uh, verification. And with that, they say that the numbers are better, that all this other stuff is going to be better. Um, I still don't like the 20-minute withdrawal window that you got to go to every day. And uh, a sliver of profits that you get every day. This one, I mean, all these reminders of the past. This one really reminds me of uh, mirror trading. With mirror trading... When they were giving out like 1% a day on mirror trading, you were only getting a sliver of profit with that by getting just a quarter of that 1%. And this is exactly what Fusion Experience is doing with that, all right? And they make it sound like, oh, yeah, you got this world-class bot, and, oh, man, they're doing all the work for you. You keep your funds. But, and they even had zero trading days, too, like zero earned trading days because, oh, it wasn't a good time. And all that. <laughs> and so, to me, uh, you're, you're shit up the creek. What they say? Shit up the creek without a paddle or whatever? And um, you're spinning wheels here with this. Wasting your time. Getting slivers of profit every day. But go ahead. Keep doing that. Alright? <laughs> and uh, we'll see over time how bad you really get why did the chat get shut down? Because you can't say nothing negative about things in this chat, right? It's just funny how that is. But, um, you know, as soon as people say something bad and I, and I jump on board and just support it, man, all of a sudden, oh, you, you can't talk bad and, and uh, oh, man, you can't, you can't, you know, say all this stuff. We're shutting the chat down. So, all right, good luck with that. So, let's see here. Some of the stuff they had to overcome, right, they said is that people have had problems with depositing withdrawals on the Tron network, so they switched over to Binance. I don't get that because Tron usually, I've never seen a problem with Tron uh, network. Fusion Experience got breached less than two weeks after their official launch. The user funds was 100% recovered and secured due to several security protocols by the by the dev and tech team, the hackers was able to withdraw the funds, but the fact they got hacked in less than two weeks after launch. Uh, payment process that led to re-verification and other few challenges uh, they had to sort out. And so they said that the deposit now works seamlessly, right? Withdrawals work as expected and seamless, right? And uh, they said that their new strategy has faster execution and it's working great. They're still testing on other stuff. Oh, man, oh, this is great, right? And now they're going to be trading 100% full of funds, which it won't be, it, it won't amount to any much, much more than what you were already getting, which is a sliver of profit still. And again, it, it goes back to trying to launch all this way too early when it wasn't even ready. For whatever reason, they really had this, you know, stick up their ass, be like, oh, man, we got to launch this shit, we got to launch this shit. When they should have just done all this without uh, launching it, then when everything was in place, okay, now we can launch. So, look at this. One million users in 90 days. Watch and see. Wow, man, they're really... Look at this. Fusion Experience Relaunch 2.0. It's going to blow your mind. So, you're going to do that? I guess. I guess you guys are going to fall for this still. And then you're going to be deeply disappointed when you see the, you know, stuff that you earn and it's only going to be slivers of profit still. It doesn't matter what percentage of profits you earn and uh, it's still going to be slivers of it. And then you're going to be like, man, what am I doing here? So it's going to blow your mind, guys. Fusion, I can't wait. I can't wait to see the results once again when you guys are just going to be spun to zero once again. And so with that... I still trash on Fusion because it sucks. And uh, Manifest sucks. And Novatech 
is on his deathbed. Comment down below. That's the latest. I'll see you next one.